Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, daughters, brothers, sisters, cousins, um, and other distant relatives. Whoever's watching this, we are back. We are building. Uh, this is just going to be wrapping up some loose ends. I'm kind of pissed off right now, and I'm going to tell you why. Because last night, you know, I did some off-camera support work for Shenandoah Hotshot. The coaster you see in the background right now, and, and I'll showcase that when you know once I get some more stuff done. And I started building the main supports for the top hat, as you can see here. And I am so incredibly fucking proud of them and how they turned out, but I did not film it. I'm pissed. So I have this new thing now where anytime I hop on Planet Coaster, I'm filming. I'll deal with the with the cutting and the editing in Adobe Premiere when I have the chance. And also last night I realized I'm very close to the microphone when I speak into it. And you can pick up on a lot of <laughs> noises and <gasps> breathing sounds. So I'm taking a step back from the microphone. I'll just adjust the gain and the volume and all that good stuff in Adobe Premiere. So again, I'm gonna say it again and again and again. You always learn something new. Constantly improving this, this content getting rid of a lot of dead footage and stuff like that and you know learning the ropes and shit and stuff and just like life in general it is a massive learning experience um, I'm not really it is too actually it's 1 48 in the morning where I'm at a little too late to be getting deep and philosophical so I'm not gonna go on a life rant but you know maybe it'll turn into one eventually but yeah so here we are tying up some loose ends here towards the front of the park. I really just want to tie in or type as many loose ends as possible and then start getting into the fun projects. I got my notes right here. I got all my notes. I got ideas. Um, one of those being a dark ride haunted mansion type of animatronic thing that will be a little bit later on down the line. But it, I'm just itching to build a new coaster or a new major e-ticket or attraction or whatever but I'm I'm not allowing myself to do that until I get these goddamn fences done and Mexico I actually have the check for Mexico right here in my hand so make a shout out Mexico they paid for these and uh, you know MAGA all that good stuff not a big Trump guy anymore used to be um, still a Republican I just can't it's very hard to take the left in this country seriously and I told myself in the last video I wasn't gonna get political and I'm not getting too political here but it's incredibly hard to take those lunatics seriously so I, I'd consider myself a little bit more libertarian I don't care if you're gay or whatever you want to get married let you know abortions and all that good stuff do what you want with your body marry who you want to love who you want I, don't, I personally don't give a shit just don't tax me too much for it so we're placing some sunflowers hands down favorite flower I know that's a very basic white girl thing to say, but sunflowers are just, they're nice. They're incredibly nice. And I'm just now looking at the um, playback time. I, I'm three minutes and 30 seconds into this, and we've talked about Trump, sunflowers, haunted rides, and, you know, I don't even know what, what else. I, I, it just, whatever comes to mind, <clears throat> I usually say, that has led me, you know, put me into some sick, uh, sticky situations before. But, eh, fuck it. I'm sitting in the comfort of my bedroom right now with uh, a nice Deer Park water and my jewel. Yeah, I'm a douchebag who jewels, but here's the thing. I used to dip smoke with tobacco, and I figured I'd rather put a hole in my lungs than my face. Because at the end of the day, my face is what will make me some money, opposed to my voice. Which is actually kind of counterintuitive, considering... I have to do a lot of audio and voiceovers for this. I'm finding a lot of holes in my logic as I continue speaking, so I'm going to recollect my thoughts. So, this big-ass tree, it's a big-ass tree. I wanted to sink that down a little bit, and we cut over. This is a little bit more work. I've done the more outskirts of the park. Uh, there's going to... I don't know if I'm going to do a, a video on the car park. That's what I'm calling parking lots from now on. I'm just... I'm going to be a snooty, honorary European about it. We are going to park in the car park. I mean, fuck you, buddy. Just say parking lot. No, no disrespect to my European friends or anything like that. That's just me being an ignorant American who is a direct byproduct of this beautiful experiment we call freedom in the American dream, which has really been one of the most oppressive regimes in the history of the world. But that's beside the point, which, which is kind of interesting. You know, the older I've gotten, 
and taking some history classes in college and stuff, I really realized just how ignorant and low-key racist this country is. And if you know me personally and you're listening to this, you're like, oh my god, he sounds like an SJW, <laughs> furthest thing from it. Just, you know, not as closed-minded and uh, ignorant as I used to be. Which is a good thing, you know, life is all about personal growth, developing, you know. You gotta, you gotta go through a lot of shit to get to who you want to be, and I don't think we ever truly become who we want to be. We just, you know, get a step closer and leave it at that. So, pardon me, I just turned my gaming computer on and Planet Coaster started playing in the background. I need to get rid of all background noises and stuff. Maybe I should build, uh, you know, an, a legit studio or something like that, but <laughs> my job does not pay me enough to do that. So... That is that. More fence work. What we're doing right here is something... I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to be doing this in the park, but I love the idea of when you go into a park or any sort of environment and there's a ton of, you know, hanging lights overhead. It's a very kind of... It gives you a really fair kind of vibe. A really kind of carnival kind of vibe. But we do it with class here at Appalachian Adventures, ladies and gentlemen. No Six Flags bullshit in this park allowed. No loose ends, no cardboard cutouts, no Wonder Woman, no Superman. And honestly, if this video is monetized, I would get copyrighted just for saying those words because YouTube is that stingy about it. I've done my research on it, and holy guacamole, guys. If you're playing, if there's like an audio, I was watching this guy, El Toro Ryan, on YouTube, and if you haven't checked him out and you're into, you know, dipshit coaster vlogs which is kind of the niche i'm scheming on getting into except it's gonna be more or less hammered coaster <laughs> dick vlogs and stuff like that check them out it's all one word el toro ryan on youtube funny ass guy very funny guy but he actually had to break up his videos into 30 second intervals while they were in disney at disney sea in tokyo because the soundtrack is a disney soundtrack um and one of the attractions they were on and that can get you copyrighted and I, was, I looked it up and I was, you know, to see if that was legit. If there's just, you know, shit playing in the background, if you can get copyrighted or striked for that. And you can. And, you know, YouTube is basically communism. You know, you stifle the free market and the creative abilities of the people within that free market to do that. So, cheers, boys. We're getting a little bit political. And girls. And Z or Zer. Or whatever you identify as. I actually cracked a joke like that to a guest at work today and. They were less than amused, so I guess maybe just keep politics out of the Planet Coaster realm along with the working realm and all that good stuff. It's another thing about life, man. You just figure out when it is appropriate to say something and when it is not appropriate to say something, and that is a far cry from the ignorant piece of shit that I used to be. So, you know, personal growth. It's all we're doing in 2019, and at one point or another kicking the nicotine habit. I already kicked a couple of bad habits, which feels very nice. Sucked ass at first, you know. You, you kind of get into your ways and develop a routine into, you know, doing a certain thing. And then it takes one sketchy instance for you to go, oh shit, maybe this isn't worth it. You're an asshole for two or three days, at least in my case. And then you're good. I have never been more clear-minded before in my life. Never been... Um, well, I wouldn't say never, but I'm definitely way more clear-headed and stuff now. So all that good stuff. So as I'm watching this playback, it, it's really being glitchy and gimmicky on me right now. I don't know if that's going to carry over into the in, when I uh, export this media file or this video. There it goes. It's all clear now. If it does, I do apologize. I'm just terribly lazy, and I really am not going to go back and fix it. If I had a little bit more of a following than I would but we are still just starting out. This part of the video is just a whole hell of a lot of cables and cable management. Ian, if you're listening, that is me shitting on you. I don't, you know, shit on you as much as I used to, mainly because I don't see you, brother. Where you been? Hit my line, because, you know, you're my computer guy, and I gotta update some things on this old girl. I got some Amazon gift cards laying around that need to go to good use, so... Hit my line, boy, but yeah, a lot of cable management here. I know that's not the proper terminology, it's just me being a dick, but it, this is just going to be a lot of lights, overhanging lights, and as I'm saying this, I'm realizing that I totally got off topic from what I was talking about before, which was 
the overhanging lights kind of giving off a fair carnival vibe very I, I make sure it looks classy here um once we get into the real-time overview i'll go ahead well, actually, you can kind of see it right now, but once this is all complete, I'll do a real-time overview of the area and how everything looks. And I think it looks hot. I think it looks really good. And here it is being glitchy again. I don't know if that... Huh. Yo, add Adobe. Get your shit straight. All I did was apply um, default transition, which is basically fading in and out. And if your fucking software can't handle that I really don't feel like using it anymore I mean I will for the next 11 months and three quarters because I did pay 200 some odd dollars for it which is bullshit that is a subs uh, subscription my cousin Luke actually I'm gonna pull that text up now recommended something else that is a one-time payment if you are watching this and I have not texted you back by the way terribly sorry been busy in 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 the booth in the booth at the booth, the booth. We just talk about how shitty rap is nowadays. I, I used to just shit on rap in general, but <clears throat> looking at how shitty it's gotten now, it, it it is just absolute cancer for my ears. Oh wait, no, that's the those are the wrong text messages. Where are you at, Luke? Hold on. I'm gonna get out to Kennywood and visit you this summer, man. It's on the way to Cedar Point. So if you're watching this, uh, buckle up, because we're just gonna get fucking shit house drunk and. Ride Steel Curtain. It's going to be a good time. SNS is making a comeback in the industry, by the way. Very, very excited for that. Um, King's Dominion used to have the SNS um, air powered compressed launch hypersonic XLC. Was never, when I first moved to Virginia, I wasn't tall enough to ride it. So, sad face. Okay, let's see. Um, FCX, Final Cut. So, it's Final Cut. FCX is the other thing I'm going to keep using if Adobe keeps fucking around with on un being unable to handle simple fade transitions between clips and editing so here's the overview guys if you n are, are a little nitpicky like I am you notice that I changed the bottom bar to a light blue it just it's a happier color than the maroon uh, fuck the color maroon uh, along with the color orange actually not really I love Virginia Tech Virginia Tech is an incredible school you guys shitty football season this year but you know it's what happens when you lose your starting quarterback and, you know, you lose to ODU of all fucking schools. So here we are. This is what I was talking about with the overhanging lights. I think this looks sick. I, th there are a couple things. Th th those standalone wooden posts here come to into a hot shot. I'm very excited to show you guys that and do a point of view because it's, it's wacky. But those standalone wooden posts, it, it's connected. So it connects from these lights to the support structure of Shenandoah hot shot. I think that turned out... All right, but this like the standalone wooden post you see right here, uh, I, I got to doll those up a little bit. They just look very meh right now. Also, got to finish up some uh, minor support details on these two towers. You know, like the connectors where theoretically the pieces of steel do connect, hence the name uh, connectors. So, uh, some dry humor. I'm just gonna do some shots from the ground up here because I'm just in love with the aesthetics of this part of the park. Holy shit, you guys! I'm as this thing just keeps filling in, making these videos really kind of motivates me to have to constantly be working on the park and filling in the loose ends that I normally would neglect on a par uh, project this size. I was afraid at first I might be biting off more than I can chew, but you know, with these videos and stuff, it's like, okay, well, tie in these fucking loose ends so you have a you can at least flex somewhat with a somewhat completed project. So, and I did this work off camera. I filled in that little grassy area, right? Uh, around the train depot. I do have a name for it. It is the Blue Ridge Train Depot. And it's going to be the Blue Ridge Railway. <clears throat> and I've already, you know, started scheming on some other hamlets where we can put uh, other train stations. But I filled that in with some trees and some foliage and stuff. And it looks good. It's a nice little centerpiece to add to the back of the plaza. I'm not entirely sure if I need to do more buildings. And come to think of it, I haven't really done any building buildings or building builds on this channel yet which I do have to get around to I do apologize for being a little bit slacking in that department I'm not an architect so it's gonna be a lot of trial and error and some sloppy footage a lot of dead footage and I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing and cutting cutting but you know what it just all comes with part of the gig so I'm very happy with how this turned out it's very lit up I do have to finish off that awning for the carousel I'm dreading to do it but you know it's gonna have to get done I just love how this looks at night 
absolutely adore it. And that's not me tooting my own horn, but, you know, I'm tooting my own damn horn here. I think it looks great. That's a whole other side of the park. I haven't even bothered trying to develop. I do need to tie in some loose ends here. But, and I'll do that off camera. But I think it looks good for now. I'm really, I'm really getting more and more excited as I keep putting out this content. Speaking of which, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to just start plugging myself like that. Because, honestly, I have no shame left in me. I've made enough of an ass of myself in this life. And burned enough bridges to stop giving an absolute shit. So... Here we are. Yeah, it just looks cool. I'm excited, and I do want to build around the uh, screaming e not the screaming the flying eagles. I'm sorry, the screaming. I'm thinking of a SNS screaming swing right now, which is something that's going to make an appearance in this park. But you know, it's all slowly, slowly, slowly coming together. About an hour and a half a night at a time, and then fucking two hours of editing and cutting out that footage. So, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. For those of you who are being consistent viewers, I appreciate the living fuck out of you. I truly do. Um, the, you know, amusement parks and this kind of stuff has meant a lot to me for a lot of years. And being able to finally, or just having the confidence and, and the uh, means and resources to put out some steezy related amusement park content. It really does mean a lot that you guys are taking time out of your day to check it out and, you know... And, uh, you know, if shooting, I got people shoot me texts of stuff asking when the next videos are coming out. So, you know, it, it makes my heart happy. You don't need to find that in a woman necessarily. All right, that's it, you guys. Have a beautiful evening, beautiful day, beautiful life. Find yourself a beautiful wife. Uh, Johnny Rhymes over here, checking out. I'll see you guys tomorrow or the day after, not entirely sure. But, you know, love, peace, chicken, grease, and stay safe, y'all. Shitty weather today.